In this screencast I'm going to talk about cumulating and filtering monitor events. One of the problems when analyzing monitor events is that there can be a lot of them and that it can be overwhelming and difficult to find the actors that participate in a problem that you're trying to solve. One of the ways to reduce the number of monitor events is to increase the recording threshold which by default is set to 1000 microseconds for blocking events and 100,000 microseconds for waiting events and you can change that on the fly but that will only reduce noise in a real world scenario there will still be a lot of monitor events to analyze. The first problem is how to find the monitors and the threads that you're actually interested in and one way to do that is to accumulate monitor events in a certain period of time where you know that something interesting must have happened. Accumulating is easy, you just click and drag with a mouse in the timeline uh, and select a period of time. I'm going to select all the monitor events in my snapshot here and what you get is a accumulated graph of all monitor events in the selected period of time and you can see here there are a lot of threads interacting with the same monitors this can potentially give rise to problems and once you have found the monitor or the thread that you're actually interested in you can right click uh, that node and select mark nodes of interest now that you have selected nodes of interest only events that involve those nodes are shown in this accumulation view all unconnected events have been removed here. When we clear the accumulation with this button here, the first event that involves the selected node of interest is shown. As you may have noticed there are two sets of navigation buttons, one for all events and one for the events of interest only and we can now use the navigation buttons in the second row here to move through the 48 events of interest out of the 374 uh, total monitor events that have been recorded in this snapshot. In the timeline you can see that events of interest are painted in red rather than blue so you can quickly get a good feeling for how many events of interest there are and how they are spread out along the timeline. Also it's possible to select more than one node of interest by holding the shift key and selecting multiple nodes then selecting mark nodes of interest from the context menu. Now you can see that with respect to the previous selection the events of interest are more spread out along the timeline. To remove selected nodes of interest just right click anywhere in the graph and select remove mark. An alternative way to filter monitor events is to use the monitor history view. Here you can use the controls at the top to filter for waiting and blocking events, minimum thresholds, class names and thread names, or you can use quick search to locate strings and class names or thread names. 